Hi everyone, I'm Mona. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the best dressed women of all time and my personal style icon, and that is Barbara P. Paley, otherwise known as Babe. Babe Paley was the ultimate style icon, in my opinion, because of her elegance, her grace, her exquisite taste, her style, and her simplicity. And um, she was known to be also so beautiful and so striking in person that she would take your breath away. She had this magnetism and this aura that radiated beauty, even though she wasn't the most beautiful or like pretty in any way. Um, she was definitely striking, but it was her presence and the way she carried herself, the way she held herself, the way she spoke, her body movements, her gestures. It was the ultimate um, feminine, beautiful woman, in my opinion, she was. She exuded all those characteristics, which is why people are so intrigued by her till this day and still talking about her. Um, she started out as a model and modeled for some of the biggest fashion photographers in the 1940s. And um, her second husband is or was uh, William B. Paley who owned CBS. So she was so wealthy and she could afford to wear anything and buy anything she pleased. Um, but she still had something special that set her apart from all these other women that were socialites and um, married to um, really wealthy men. Um, I would say she was probably the ultimate trophy wife and um, according to Truman Capote, who was one of her best friends, he said that the only flaw Babe had was that she was perfect. And um, that's not a bad flaw to have now, is it? Um, I was intrigued and fascinated to find out what fragrances she wore and the two perfumes that I um, discovered that she loved and adored throughout her life are two of the best green fragrances hands down ever created and um, they def definitely reflect her style and her presence. Um, the first one is a 1947 release by the House of Balmain and it is Vent Vert. Vent Vert, which means green wind in, in French, has to be probably the most um, reverved green fragrance of all time and probably the best one till this day, hands down. Um, when you first spray this, it comes off like a green breeze. It's very, very green, like the color green. And, um, but it has this creamy quality about it that makes it so um, beautiful. It's almost like this nutmeg quality it has. Now, this is a vintage bottle. It was discontinued. It was um, reformulated many times in the 90s and also um, in the 2000s. Um, but this is a 70s bottle, like I said, and this, as you can see, the color is green, the juice. Um, I will read you the notes so you can get a better feel. The top notes are galbanum. Oh, that's what I want to say about this as well. This is loaded with galbanum. So if you like that classic galbanum in fragrance, you will definitely love Vent Var. So, okay, the top notes are galbanum, citrus oils, gardenia, leafy green, and peach. At the heart, we have rose, lily of the valley, hyacinth, orris, and jasmine. And at the base, we have oak moss, vetiver, styrax, and musk. 
So this smells like money in a bottle. Um, I don't know, something about green fragrances, in my opinion, are are like probably the most classiest um, perfumes out there. They definitely smell like um, sophistication and refinement. There's, they're not playful, they're not sexy, they're not like um, pretty, but they are beautiful and classy. Um, so she was known to love this so much that she would buy it in like cases and also she would spray her famous St. Regis apartment with the perfume because she loved it so so much. Um, it's definitely my favorite green fragrance of all time. I've had the x um, and this is an EDT. Um, you can find it easily on eBay um, and I definitely can see Babe wearing Vent Vart by Balmain. The second perfume I'm gonna talk about is a 1969 release. And this um, was released by the house of Norel, the designer Norel, probably one of the best, um, classiest, chicest designers in the 50s and 60s. This smells like Park Avenue, in a bottle, hands down. It's unique. Um, it's definitely green like vent vert when you first spray it, but this is a little bit sexier in my opinion. It's a little bit more mossy. Um, it has more of a sheep breath feel to it, but let me tell you, this is class, sophistication, money, old money, all in a bottle. I love this fragrance. I love to wear it, um, especially in the spring, in the beginning of spring. But of course, it's definitely a perfume you can wear all year round. And she was known to really love this fragrance towards the end of her life. And I will read you the notes to this as well so you can get a better feel. The top notes we have hyacinth, galbanum, Bergamot, Narcissus, and Lemon. At the heart, we have Carnation, Jasmine, Rose, Orchid, and Orris. And at the base, we have Sandalwood, Musk, Cedarwood, Moss, and Amber. And like I said, this is definitely more mossy than Vent Vart. Um, this is considered, I think, more of a sheep red, and this is considered more of a green floral but they both are luxurious, high class, sophisticated fragrances that probably, you know, no one's gonna wanna run out and buy today. Um, in these days, um, people like more trashy things. Um, class seems to be not in style, but if you're that girl or guy that loves refined, sophisticated, classy green fragrances. I highly recommend Vent Verp and Norel. Um, I dedicate this video to all of the ladies out there who are classy and love to be, um, you know, just feminine, elegant, and um, stand out in today's world full of trash and vulgarity and um, also to Babe Paley herself. Um, if this is your first time here, feel free to subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you hopefully next in my next video to come. Thank you, and bye-bye.